I'm Finn Graves, and I'm going to call this series Confessions. Originally, I started doing an artist blog because as a teenager, I really, really wanted to see into other people's lives. I didn't have any TV growing up, like none at all. And the very first movie I remember watching, actually, was Mars Attack. And I was terrified. It was like nothing I'd ever seen to see people's like flesh burning off of them. And so that's an interesting concept to my brain. And like now I've seen Mars Attack again and it's funny, but at 12 when I hadn't seen any TV or any graphic experience such as that, it was so crazy to my brain. And so after seeing Mars Attack, I totally started uh, babysitting and taking care of a little girl for a whole summer. And I didn't get paid very much and her family had a uh, cable or something like that and they had access to MTV and Real World I think is what it was one of those reality shows with a lot of drama and like people that come and live in this other city and like connect with one another and blah 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 but really it's like a lot of fighting and drama and because I hadn't seen any TV my brain conceptualized that as very very real and so one of the reasons I wanted to do a video blog was because I want to see real people behind things and I know that who I am both on my video blog and in person are different and I always thought that was a really interesting idea to be able to see into how people felt and see into people's lives and I wish we could do that more often I wish that there were more real people available for us to see to see how they actually handle things versus how they handle things with a media spin on it you know what I mean? So that's a little bit of the background for why I want to do an artist blog anyways, you know? I like to educate, I like to connect with people, I like people to get a chance to see different things uh, to change their own perspectives outside of themselves. So that's a big thing for me. But really, it's just like 14 year old self saw a real world repeatedly and was like, Man, I want to do that. That's right up there with like Captain Log, Starship Enterprise, which is one of the few other things that I was allowed to see during that time period. And so you get artsy, sciencey, geeky kind of gal who really loves to do stuff and likes to connect with people, and you get a very weird little video blog. This is sometimes cohesive and sometimes not. But then there's this other part of me that really wants to record like my artistic progress. I have a bunch of different sketchbooks and journals and I write down all of these things. But one of the things that I think is interesting specifically for this generation, for millennials, is that we were told that we were going to make such an impact on the world and that we were going to change it. And I think that we have changed it, but we've changed it in a way that I think a lot of us didn't expect. Um, the science and the technology and the access to everything have really created this really interesting, vivid way of being able to connect and to communicate with one another, but yet our attention span has dropped so significantly. Like, I think now we hold an attention span of about 15 seconds because we keep getting in so early. And so that's one of the things is like, if I'd started doing a video blog 10 years ago, people could have been very interested in it. And so ultimately, I'm going to be the one that's interested in it. And that, that seems a little bit silly, but it's also, it's a good record. And I actually got to go camping last week. And one of the things was I saw that Kelly, a friend of ours, who goes camping every year with Raina, Bethany's best friend, up at Camp Sugarhawk, which is in the Gifford Pino Forest. It's beautiful. I highly recommend you check it out. Though not when we're going camping, because there's already enough people. Um, she did video blogs while she was up there to just, like, see how she was doing. And I didn't do any. I didn't turn my phone on. I took a whole break. I, like, just let everything stream off of me and just, like, was there, you know? And it was interesting because we went with so many different people that there wasn't really a lot of time for reflection like there normally is. 
And so that was a little strange as far as things go. But it was so good to be in the woods. It was gorgeous, absolutely stunning. And that was really, really, really nice, you know? But seeing Kelly, who's 48, uh, doing a video blog made me think of Grace and Frankie. And uh, it's a Netflix series about two older ladies who just, they start a vibrator business, but that's like towards the end. And seeing Frankie on TV is the first time I ever saw anybody on TV that like reminded me of myself. And then seeing Kelly do a video blog, I found it, I found it really comforting. And I kind of wanted to watch her video blog. And I wanted to see what it was that she was thinking about, you know? Again, a glimpse into the real life of people. And so, right now, I have, this is, since I'm calling this the confession series, this is a different series. Um, I'm not going to really make it super public. I'm going to make it private for Patreons only. And for what that's worth. I mean, you know, like, that's just a thing. Really, it's just for me. And so I've been struggling with not smoking for a period of time. And so I quit smoking for about two years, the last two years. And then I finished my degree. And the last month, for finishing my degree, I kind of picked up smoking. And I got a root canal, and my boss asked me if I was smoking, and my first response was like, no. No, absolutely not. Because technically I'm not a smoker anymore, but I smoke occasionally. And then also to preserve my job, which just freaked me out, plus I was on a lot of pain meds. And so like it bothered me that I lied, because I don't really lie you know, like in general, um, and so I've been really working since then, which has been like a month to quit smoking totally, and today I'm quitting again. So far I've managed like three full days and two full days and one full day, you know, like sporadically in that time period, but I'm quitting again, and one of the reasons that I've been worried about quitting again is because I've also been like moving my body and doing yoga and dance and working out and just trying to like really inhabit my body and so so it just seemed like I'm afraid of losing that 15 pounds that I've lost back also but that's not a reason to get cancer and so I'm like making a note of it to myself with this so yeah and a lot of times people will be like you smoked like that doesn't look at all like you and it's true I mean like I would not have smoked if I hadn't turned out to be queer, to be totally honest. Like, I would have never had any context for doing so. I would have never really made friends with people who did so, you know, like all of this stuff. Because being queer had a huge impact on who I became as an adult. And who I was as a younger human was a totally different than who I've become, except in personality traits. And I think that's interesting, you know, the way that once we become part of the subculture, we shift and we change and we like, we have to. It's part of connecting to our community and part of having things that resonate with us. And I mean, when I was a young baby queer, that was the easiest way to connect to other people, was take a drag of their cigarette. And I'm like, this tastes like shit, but it's cool to talk to people, you know, like whatever. And it's not cool. Like smoking isn't cool. There's nothing fun about it. It like hurts your lungs, hurts your chest. You know, like it hurts your internal organs. It gives you tar in your lungs. And so I know all of that stuff. I'm very smart. And also most of my most of my families that I've worked for as a nanny have been doctors. So I have a lot of access to medical information. And the people that I date are healers and scientists. I have all of this access. But at the same time, it's still been something that's hard and struggles for me, you know, because there was this persona, you know? And who I dated first as a young little like queer was really like butch women. Really butch women that are a lot older than me, they smoke a ton because life was shitty to them. And I want to do a whole different video vlog about how like we kill ourselves as a queer community because of mass marketing, but <clears throat> I don't think that's for this one. I think I just want to say this is day one. I'm not smoking anymore. I want to be making a video blog for myself and I kind of want to be seeing Kelly's video blog. Yeah.
So, yeah. thanks for watching. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you liked it, and feel free to subscribe if you want to hear more true confessions from a Portland artist, and I'll see you next week. Bye!